the event horizon. Ed Rush, 27, getting old, feeling great. I'm here in Leeds uh, at the uni and we just had a a really good party, I think. Well, I was here for the last hour, but the last hour was good. And five seconds of the moment, we turned up. It's on time. It's all good, up-to-date drum and bass. The Leeds crowd is pretty much the same as anywhere, really. Wherever there's, wherever there's a university or young people, students, or just like a general sort of city vibe with young people in it, then there's going to be a good drum and bass. The South Coast, Brighton, Exeter, Oxford, Cambridge, wherever all the big unions are, there's good vibes. Well, personally, I really like, um, well, there's a lot of things, but as far as sort of sound goes, production stuff, I like everything that comes out of the Ram stable. I think there's always extremely fat beats, nice sub bass, proper 12 inch drum bass singles you get with Ram. Same with any of the Bristol lot, fat breaks, fat bass, it's all, it's all proper and neat and tidy. So, Bad company as well, their stuff's good. There's a lot of, and then there's a few odd ones that come through, but as far as consistency go, I reckon Ram and Miles and yeah. C, Red One, Blue Fusion as well, that's all wicked tracks. Andy C's probably one of the, he's my favourite DJ, drum and bass, most the one I most like to listen to. But the new album that's just been released called Creeps, um, and it's like a collaboration of tracks that Optical and I have done over the last sort of uh, year or so. Um, in between our travelling, sort of our touring around America and what have you. It's like, um, whereas Wormhole, the first one I think was sort of all in one vein, it was all kind of, all the tracks were sort of cousins or brothers, because they were kind of related. This, they're a bit more detached, a few more sort of variants of vibe going on, obviously with the rap things of Brian Time and what have you. And then there's some more kind of techno influence tracks like White Lightning. So it's a bit more versatile. Cool. But I think that's a result of us being in America, coming back, being in this sort of American vibe, getting in the studio, going to Brazil, coming back from there. So the tracks are always, always different. That's probably why there's a bit more cool. difference on this album. Track Greed on, uh, on Creeps is the track that's responsible for us being half deaf at the moment, <laughs> which is why tonight I had to have the monitors on so loud. Yeah, basically the track's got a lot of mid-range in it and we were listening to it going round for probably about four hours constantly and with sort of DJing out so much and whatever I think you get a, quite a lot of build up in your ears and you are half deaf anyway so things have to generally be louder and those frequencies can pierce through anything you hear and smash a drum to pieces and that's what kind of happened to us. Some of the hairs that are responsible for letting you hear certain frequencies have now been destroyed so we hear those frequencies when they're not there. That's what tinnitus is, it's like constantly ringing in your ears all day. Advice to our dealers is to wear earplugs, very much so. I mean, if you can't afford these kind of nice ones that you go and get from the specialist places, that kind of mould your inner ear and put these 25 decibel filters in them, it cuts out all the half of frequency. They're about 150, 200 quid a shot and easy to lose. So if you can't get those, just make do with the squishy kind of jobs you get from a chemist. Because it does sound, it's a bit weird, but you can still hear. Because in the UK we have our sound systems far too loud. We do. You go to Switzerland or something like that, it's loud enough to hear, but they have like laws on decibel, so it's all kind of, you know, kept an eye on. And in America they're so scared of blowing their sound systems, they won't fucking turn it up at all. 